Hi everyone, I'm Josh Eastman, Director of Technical Marketing with Opto22, and I'm here today with Pons Tuganen of OptoTech. They're an international distributor for Opto22 and a system integrator operating in the Philippines. He came all the way from the Philippines to California to participate in Groove Epic training and was kind enough to sit down with us to talk about some applications that he's involved in right now. Uh, Pons, tell us about OptoTech. What's your, what's your bread and butter? What do you do well, day when, in day out? When we started off, we were doing exclusively data center solutions. We started with simple temperature monitoring we expanded that to power monitoring. Now we're interfacing Opto22 equipment into a DCIM platform. Okay, now has uh, Opto22, our product portfolio, always been a part of what you're doing or at what point did that come into? I came into, system integration efforts? I, I've known the brand for 15 years. From the Snap IO to Snap Packs and now with Epic, Okay. Uh, I think the the, the tools that are available really makes our jobs very easy. And uh, it opens up a lot of doors. Once you get the first box in for a specific application, there are so many doors that it opens in the same corporation. How did that lead to the work that you're doing now with Marigold? With the entry of Marigold, you know, it's a big realization on our part that the opportunities are actually in the smart manufacturing space. Mm -hmm. They are building a new plant. It's a huge manufacturing firm. They own the Mamacita brand of condiments and sauces. The next phase is intended to interconnect all the PLCs, irregardless of brand, in that particular plant to be able to gather data. And they were quite happy with the decision of getting Epic because they now have a platform that can, you know, communicate with all these different brands and you know consolidate data into one backbone network. Mm -hmm. They now have Epic that can gather all this data for them. And we have started databasing it already in preparation for whatever reports they may want to generate later on. At the end of the day, you can't manage what you can't measure, mm -hmm. okay? So we're measuring now. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the bigger buildings, each of them has an Epic, Mm -hmm. Okay, we designed it in such a way that all the local IOs from the building goes to that particular EPIC. Okay. 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 So all the EPICs run uh, all the IO functionalities within the building. Okay. We made it that so because we knew that later on, even if they buy other brands of PLCs later on, EPIC will still sit on the top mm -hmm. as a gateway to collect data from everybody else. So you can bring that in. We can at bring any time. that in already without even changing anything on the infrastructure that mm -hmm. we already designed for them. You mentioned that there's a there's a database layer that yes. all of these epics are feeding back to. We put in an MS SQL database, mm -hmm. and uh, all the data that we collect is being pumped there once a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, each of the buildings are pumping it individually through Node Red. Beautiful, seamless. We were already planning to use Node Red mm -hmm. as the vehicle to bring data into the database from the I/O point. So. Mm -hmm. That's what we did, exactly. Okay. okay. So we've been node red for DB since day one. Right on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so this was your first experience working with it. What was the learning curve like? Node red? Like? Uh, yeah. I have a database guy mm -hmm. in my shop. Took him like less than a week to, to, to do all the stuff needed to get the IO points into the database. Yeah. Thanks to all the videos that you guys have done. Okay, okay? good, all right. And uh, there is a big celebrity with my guys. Right on. And uh, all of them as a requirement to watch all his videos. Perfect. Before they even go out and face a customer, okay? The other day you mentioned visualization. Maybe using GrooveView? Oh, well, we've done actually two, okay? Hmm. For the central monitoring station, since everything is static, there are huge, large screen format display, we just pack display there. Okay. We, we were envisioning the use of GrooveView for plant floor monitoring, mm -hmm. specifically designed for their uh, supervisors, ship, ship, ship supervisors. So for mobility. For mobility, yeah. so they don't need to be in a central location to just to monitor everything. They can be anywhere mm -hmm. in the building. And we're working closely with their IT guys to design the wireless network within the buildings okay. uh, because they initially decided to separate the industrial network from their okay, internal IP network. Okay. And each of our panels has this big um, touch screen monitor so they can control the building from there without going into the central station okay. securely using GrooveView. Yeah. Yeah, it's a web-based thing. Yeah. 
So thanks again for coming, telling us about your application. Like I said, I love that it shows off so many of the features of the Epic platform, and I love the way that you're representing the Opta 22 brand for other people. Yeah. Open standards, uh, connectivity, right? These sort of forward-looking applications, right? That's yeah. that's what we are about. And you know, thanks for thanks for, uh, thanks for embodying that in your yeah. work. Okay, great. And once again, I'm Josh Eastburn with Opto 22. And thanks for watching. Yeah.